Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, lately we see a huge push against the ex-vegan movement. Plant-based news comes out with one video after the other, blaming the ex-vegans they didn't do it right. They didn't do the diet correctly. And on top of that, all of them have been fasting. Juice fasting, fruitarianism and all of them have been raw vegans. None of them did it right. Guys, today I'm not here to preach. Today I'm not here to tell you that I know everything. Today I am here to ask questions. Today I'm here to ask why. Why do you think those people experimented with raw veganism and fasting? Think about it. Nobody eats a steak yesterday and the next day decides to drink piss. That never happens. All of those people tried a whole food plant-based diet first. And guess what? Their health suffered. It is always the same story. Repetitively, people experience the same health issues. Wrecked gut and digestion, depression, tooth decay, low energy, low libido, menstrual loss and whatnot. It is always the same. But plant-based news knows why that is. It is because they did it wrong. Guys, take into consideration what is really happening here. All of those people started out with a vegan diet. They faced the consequences of those anti-nutrient rich foods. Salicylates, oxalates, goitrogens, an abundance of fiber mixed in with lectins. Of course, you will have digestive upset. All of those people faced those issues and then they tried to heal themselves with a raw vegan approach or with a fasting approach because intuitively they understood if they remove the fiber, hey, they're feeling better. This is what you see all the time. But all right, let's give the vegans the benefit of the doubt. Let's say the raw veganism and the fasting wrecked those people's health. Let that be so. Why can nobody fix their issues on a whole food plant-based diet then? Most of those people, after wrecking their health on raw veganism, return to a whole food plant-based diet. And I did the same. I tried the whole food plant-based diet approach after my raw vegan period for one and a half years and it did absolutely nothing. Vegans will say you're just masking the underlying gut issues. What are you masking here really? Masking the gut issues with a food group that we've evolved to eat? You're masking the gut issues, gut issues that are being provoked by goitrogens, oxalates, salicylates and lectins. Those foods provoke those gut issues. Staying away from them in huge quantities is the right thing to do. Ingesting tons and tons of fiber relying on those foods as a vegan will lead to detrimental health effects, of course. 90% of people that had SIBO get SIBO again on a whole food plant-based diet. Those issues cannot be resolved on a whole food plant-based diet. But as I said, I'm not going to preach today. I'm going to ask questions. Therefore, again, to you vegans, why can nobody fix their health on a whole food plant-based diet then? If it is the best diet on the planet, if it is the species-specific diet, the diet that we evolved to eat, the healthiest diet, why can nobody fix their health on the whole food plant-based diet? Everybody that messed up their health on the raw food approach returns to animal products at some point because because the whole food plant-based diet doesn't work. Or is it otherwise? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear the vegan's perspective. Why do you think that nobody can fix their health on a whole food plant-based diet? And why is it that people experience good health 
through the reintroduction of those animal foods. Why is it that people see their depression vanish? Why is it that people feel their energy coming back? Why is it that people feel like themselves again? Why is it that people feel happy, strong again? Why is it that people feel healthy again? Why is that? And why do you think meat heals? All right, guys, and this is it. A quick one today. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.